Beyond the waves, beyond the shores, these women fight against all odds to survive. Takwa Bay is home to natives who are living on borrowed lands. Speaking to the locals, we learned that the land legally belongs to the Nigerian Ports Authority and the Nigerian Navy. We haven't been able to confirm the authenticity of this, but one thing is for sure, these are government lands. The most people care about, its beaches, a destination for surfers, thrill seekers and campers. Lots of tourists eagerly race to catch the first wave at the bay. So what does life at the bay look like beyond the beaches? Terasilo wakes up at about 4 o'clock every morning because any later, she may not conveniently squeeze in all the tasks she has for the day. She needs to beat the others to it to get prime real estate on the waters. This is where she gets her daily bread. My name is Terasilo. I I take the my name is Julie Wokuma. I have five children, I'm a businesswoman. I'm a food seller. I come with my sister, Takwabe. I come with my sister, I come with my business with Takwabe. When Takwabe is in the house, I come with my sister, 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 I have a business, 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 I have I have all of them on the road. They do fishing. Yeah. They do fishing. They take the feed them. They go river. Oh, they feed them. They take and they train them. In a barely functional economy, these women have a huge role to play in the continuation of life, and the bulk of the functionality of Takwapi Island in most homes rests on their shoulders. In the case of Terasilo, she single-handedly cares for her nine kids. She puts the food on the table by going to catch the fish they would have for lunch today. But what does a typical morning at the bay look like for these women? Not being able to afford hired help, the cleaning, cooking and caring for children or elderly is performed by them, unpaid. Then they proceed to go about their various businesses to find pay. Now all of this housework is critical to the proper functioning of the community but it's largely ignored when pushing for economic policies for the community, most of which 
haven't skilled anyway. The consequences of this? The women work twice as hard and earn half as much. They then go on to spend all they earn on family. <laughs> I they cross go legal, they buy my market because say maybe sometime market they do sometime market not do but weekend sometime and the cash up small. Juliet and Julie Wokoma migrated into Takwa Bay in search of a market for their goods. They take advantage of the tourist influx at the weekends to make more sales. Their loyalty to family translates to doing what it takes to make sure their kids have a better life. Monday Friday, Unfortunately, no tertiary educational institution exists in Takwa Bay. They feed, clothe, and educate their kids up to secondary level. Challenge of the free for Takwa Bay, you know, get lights, you no know, markets, you no know, water. They everywhere they are for us, for this Takwa Bay. We need light in Takwa Bay. We need markets. We need water. Ha <laughs> ha 
The preservation of family is executed by the women of Takwa Bay. This is Life at the Bay.